Hey guys, Modern25 here. Between the launch of Electron on the Another One Leaves the Crust. Station sure. And this is something for. It's a relatively secret payload for a German company, I believe. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 5, 5 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off Electron. And with that, another one leaves the crust. Electron has successfully cleared the pad at launch complex one and is on its way to orbit. We're now at 46 seconds into flight of our 18th Electron mission and approaching one of the first major milestones of any launch, max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the moment vehicle during launch supersonic. when the forces against Electron are at their peak. No, so yeah, vehicle supersonic. Very shortly, so let's listen in. Approaching max Q. And cleared max Q. Vehicle supersonic, max and amount of pressure. And we just heard the call there. Electron has cleared max Q. The stage one burn is performing nom nominally and Electron's trajectory is looking good. Stage one guidance runs nominal. 40 seconds remaining. Hey, West Chatham Station. Stage one Basically Shortly, everything's the going nine fine. engines on Electron's first stage will shut down. We call this main engine cutoff, or MECO. Right after that, Electron's first and second stages will separate, and the vacuum-optimized tenth Rutherford engine on the second stage will ignite. Let's listen in on calls from Mission Control. Okay, there we go, stage separation. You heard the good news there from Mission Control. We've had a successful main engine cutoff, separation of the stages, and ignition of the stage two Rutherford engine. Up next will be the fairing jettison. And there they go, for, there's clean separation of those halves for the fairing jettison. And one of the reasons for this shiny protective material you might have seen as they tumbled away is to ensure the aerodynamic heating experienced by Electron on ascent doesn't affect the payload on its way to orbit. Electron's second stage is continuing nominally as we approach battery hot swap in the next few minutes, a maneuver unique to the Electron rocket. I believe we had, there was an issue with this once, I believe. I don't know if that was with the hot swap itself or if that was just a general battery issue. For those of you just joining us, 
We're just about four minutes into flight for our first mission of 2021, and Electron is continuing to carry the OHB satellite to its intended destination in a polar orbit. The operations team is tracking no issues, and the burn of the second stage engine is continuing nominally. At the top right hand side of your screen, you can see the live telemetry data we're collecting on Electron's performance currently. Electron has made it cleanly through its early launch milestones and is now approaching one of its next critical operations, the battery hot swap on its second stage. We'll tell you a little bit more about what that involves close to the time it's scheduled to occur at T plus six minutes into the mission. And you can see the flying roughly over the Terminator. A quick check in, and Electron is continuing well on its journey to orbit. We're now at T plus five minutes into the mission, and all of Electron's systems are continuing as they should. The trajectory is still looking nominal for Electron's second stage. Beginning to throttle down. Stage 2 guidance is holding nominal, 200 seconds remaining. We're quickly coming up to battery hot swap on Electron's second stage. Our Rutherford engines are fed by electric pumps, which drain the power of the batteries during flight. Once the first set of batteries on stage 2 is depleted, we switch them out and get rid of the old ones we no longer require. I the believe there were three, but I'm not sure. Over six minutes into the mission, and we're coming up on that very soon. Let's throw you back into mission control to listen in. It will be very obvious when it happens. There we go, battery hot swap. Battery jettison confirmed. Hot swap successful. <laughs> We've had confirmation that battery hot swap was successful on Electron and second stage propulsion is continuing nominally. We're just a couple of minutes away now from stage 2 engine shutdown and separation from the kick stage. Electron is currently travelling at speeds of over 16,000 kilometres an hour and at an altitude of more than 300 kilometres. For those of you just joining us on our first mission for 2021, another one has indeed left the crust with a successful liftoff. About two and a half minutes into flight, we had main engine cutoff, stage separation and stage two ignition. We're coming up on separation of the kick stage about T plus nine minutes into the mission. You've got an awesome view of the bottom of stage two there on your screens. You'll have heard us talk about this being the vacuum optimized version of the Rutherford engine. What this refers to is the larger nozzle bell. Due to the lower pressure at this altitude, the exhaust gases require a longer bell to match the pressure of the environment as they exit, allowing for full thrust utilisation. Soon the Rutherford engine on the second stage will throttle down before shutting off completely to allow for clean separation of the stages. We call this SECO or second engine cutoff and this separation of the stages will place the kick stage in an elliptical orbit around Earth for a coasting period of around 40 minutes or so. After that the kick stage's Curie engine will ignite to circularize its orbit around the planet before the payload is deployed. Uh, this is in terminal, 25 seconds remaining. Uh, that won't be live streamed, by the way. As in the circularization. Right, 
There we go. Nominal transfer of it achieved. And there's the call from Mission Control. The Rutherford engine on the second stage has successfully shut down as planned. And the kick stage has cleanly separated. The kick stage is now travelling around the Earth at a speed of 8 kilometres per second and what we call a parking orbit. Around 40 minutes from now, the kick stage's 3D printed Curie engine will ignite to position the stage ready for payload deployment. It's thanks to the kick stage's Curie engine that we can provide our customers with pinpoint accuracy for deployment, enabling them to locate and op start operating their spacecraft immediately after launch. Following payload deployment I believe for that might mission, be Peter Beck, the CEO of Rocket Lab, I think. Its that enables it to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere faster and burn up to avoid becoming space junk. As we mentioned before, we won't have video of that or payload deployment, but we'll continue to share updates about this mission on our social media channels, so keep an eye out there. Before we close out today's live broadcast, we'd like to thank our mission partners, OHB Group. We're grateful to have started the year with your team's support. And with that, we're going to end today's webcast, so thank you so much for joining us for another Electron mission. We look forward to bringing you many more this year. For the first time in 2021, this is Rocket Lab Mission Control, signing off. And I'm Boss 25. Goodbye.